give it a pull. Hey guys, Sam here. YouTube's always been super helpful for me when I'm trying to install or assemble something that I don't know what I'm doing with, such as this. So I figured, let me put a video out there to help other people um, assemble this. Now I got this mini bike here, this Coleman Trail 200, and I'm gonna install it. This box is a bottomless box that just sits on this crate, so after you break the straps off, you just lift the box off, got a bunch of bolts and washers this is the front fender got a tool kit with some wrenches in here lots of crescent wrenches actually and I don't have any so that's great I do have a socket wrench and I'm gonna put this together mostly with them but looks like every wrench you're gonna need is in there it's like all we got to do is put the handlebars and the front wheel on add oil should be good to go this black piece was just holding the bolt that holds the fork I guess <laughs> Cause I don't see it anywhere in the pictures. It's got the bolt, two big washers, looks like a nut and a little washer. Now I've seen a video and read the instructions briefly. So I know that the little washer goes in between this frame and this. Now with another set of hands, this would probably be really easy to do. I'm going to try to get it done, though. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. So one of these is going to go on the other side of here before it hits in here. And if I can get that through. All right, got it lined up. The other big washer goes underneath here. And then the nut goes on there. All right, so got the wrenches. Looks like this top one here is a 16. The bottom one's a 14. I'm going to use my ratchet for the bottom and just hold this top one in place. Keep checking. Make sure you're not making it too tight. You don't want to have it loose but you don't want it so tight that you can't turn. Oh, that should be good. All right, we've still got good movement. There's a front little luggage rack, and we're gonna pop that on. Looks like these two go underneath, and this one goes on top. I'm gonna grab a couple of these bolts, try to line them up. A second set of hands would be great for this but it can be done by yourself. And it looks like top one's 10 millimeter. The bottom is a 14, which coincidentally is what I have on my ratchet already. Who knows, maybe I shouldn't be tightening this yet, but I am. All right, now I'm gonna grab the fender. And just as I thought, I got ahead of myself. I should not have tightened this down because that's where the fender goes too. Helps if you read the directions ahead of time. So I'm gonna take this nut off here. I'm gonna set it up here so I don't lose it. I'm gonna pull out my fender. And the small part that says Coleman on it, it goes towards the front. So I'm going to line that hole up here. I'm going to grab this other bolt, slide it in there. And we got those big washers. I'm going to 
I'm gonna pop one on the bottom of this and get that nut on there. As I keep saying, this would be much easier with another set of hands. And I could have waited until another set of hands got here. But apparently I'm impatient. get to laugh at my mistakes get that snugged up well from the video i watched i think it was red beard he said after you get all this stuff tightened probably going to want to ride around for a few hours and then just double check everything and make sure nothing got loose while you were riding so you and your family stay safe all right guys so it looks like we're doing the tire next the tire is actually under here so what i'm gonna do is get one of my Rhino ramps for my car and stick it under this frame to support it while I try to get the tire off. Uh, so bear with me. So these look like they'll be really fun tires. Um, I've been told these are directional tires, so there's an arrow on them somewhere that tells you, and there it is, which way the tire is supposed to spin. Well, when I'm riding, it's going to go that way, so my arrow is pointing the right direction, I believe. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here so I get that right. So it crossed my mind that you probably couldn't see anything I was doing because my camera was up here. So this is the tire. And again, there's an arrow on here somewhere and I got to find it because I don't know which way it fell and now it's backwards. So it needs to go this way. So my arrow is spinning that way. Yes. Let's see. Some pretty bolts on here. Looks like a big bolt, a nut, and two washers. Well, memory serves me. These washers go between the frame and the tire. So I'm going to get one on here. I'm going to put my other two on my blocks here so I don't lose them. And mistake number one, I need to bring my frame forward so I can actually put this tire on here. So again, bear with me. Again, let's find my arrow. Always goes the wrong way. Whew. Now we're spinning the right way. Now I've got the clearance. Let's try this again. Arrow's right. All right. Let's get the bolt through here. Get the washer on. Let's get that tire lifted in place. And start threading. Again, probably easier with another set of hands. All right, let's get that second washer on there. And hold her up. Oh, a 19 and a 17. I only need one side. I can rack it the other. 
Hold on, can this flex? It's not so bad. But it's a good idea to spin your wheel. Make sure you don't tighten this too much. This still seems to spin pretty freely. And I think it's pretty tight. Looks like all that's left is this. And I'm going to bet it goes the way that makes Coleman right side up. Looks like there's a couple of uh, slots here. And there's some things that they slide on. It's not a lot of room, though. Let's fit the slits in here. I'm no expert, but I'm guessing this is so you don't get caught in the chain. My bet is these four things go on here. The only thing that I could probably figure out without actually reading the directions. These bottom ones are gonna suck. this installed. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. I am going to take this all the way through to starting though. Got all these warnings that lets you know this did not come with oil. So make sure you put oil in there before you try to run it so you don't ruin the brand new mini bike you spent all that money on. So I'm about to go find the manual. Get some oil in here, get some gasoline in here, and crank her up so you guys know what it sounds like, so we know that we put it together correctly. All right, guys, said I'd be back. We are going to get some gas in here, some oil in here. Looks like this oil. Plug and dipstick is here. grabbed a full synthetic because I don't figure I'm going to have to change this that often. So it's not going to cost too much to make sure it's got the best protection possible. Maybe it's overkill. Just want to make sure I'm good to go. I put about half this bottle in here and that's as far as I'm going. Gas her up. This container is a little over two gallons, so it looks like it's about a gallon tank, and it probably says that somewhere. And eventually, I'll know that. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn it on. Wish me luck. All right, looks like what we need to do is make sure the gas is on, choke is 
on, kill switch is on, and let's give it a pull. All right, so the kill switch works. Sounds good. That pull was really easy. Way easier in my lawnmower, by the way. Um, started first pull. Think we might have a fun little bike. I guess I'm going to take it for a ride. Thanks for watching and coming on the journey with me, guys. This is Sam, Jackson family. We're out.